Well, good day, everybody. We're going to see if we can try to fit it up now. So, in the last video, when I talked about modifications, I'm going to show you what we're going to have to do. So, you can see right here, where it's kind of got that little lip. We're going to have to take this section, cut this line up to like there, and then beat that down completely flat. The reason why we got to do that, you can see the body line is still out, but if I just push it over, so that would be flat, then it will line up perfectly. Well, what can I say? Sometimes you just got to be creative. There's no going back now, so let's hope that panel fits. Got some holes in there to spot weld it. Before we start fitting her up, let's throw some of this weld through zinc coating on there. Well, I've been outside for a couple hours. Fucking nothing is going on. Non-union workers must have came in and put that fence up. Everybody else is just fucking sitting around hiding, playing the hiding game. So just fitting this piece up, and this is the dilemma that I came up with, I knew it was going to happen since we had to skirt it over, is we got that large gap there. Now, I think I'm going to use that flange tool right there, and we're going to put a flange all the way up, that way the piece of metal I'm going to have to add will overlap and then connect onto the main body. Now this is where the fun begins. I don't have it attached up in the corner there except for the magnet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue welding this into place. We're gonna come over here. We're just going to put some tacks to hold it. So I got a couple tack welds up there. Now the fun begins. Gap, but we gotta bring that up. And what I got underneath is I got a two by four in my little jaw ram there that I just use like that. It's gonna help me get it in position where I need it to be. Well, I think that's gonna be enough for today. I spent a few hours trying to get the back piece of the trunk jacked up and then tacked into place and then get everything fit up. It's kind of a, a nightmare. I didn't catch that on camera because I was too busy trying to focus getting that done. But we're tacked into place here. Like I said before, I got that tacked. When we come back out tomorrow, we're gonna finish this off. I'm going to cut the piece of metal to fit in between there, finish welding it, finish welding this, this, grind it smooth, and then that section will be done. I'm not gonna lie, doing that body is a lot of work, a lot of patience, a lot of trying to set things where they're supposed to be and using various clamps yeah it's uh 
been definitely a pretty challenging project but I'm gonna head her inside there's a Jeep meet tonight I'm gonna head around the Jeep meet and um, yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow well actually it'll be a few seconds but for me it'll be tomorrow Ran some errands this morning. Got a letter in the mail today from our favorite person, Mr. Steve Robb. See what he sent us. Steve Robb sent the channel sticker for Aubrey. I'm gonna have to give Aubrey a shout, let him know to pick up a sticker. Yes, Steve Robb, I'll do that because Aubrey's supposed to stop by tomorrow and we're going to install a hitch on the back of his F-150. So he will get the sticker then. Doesn't seem to be too much happening outside today. There's nobody there now. Well, it's time to quit screwing around. I got that piece put in, held in with some sheet metal screws so I can get it welded down. These little clamp things come in handy for making a perfect line, but next time you're gonna see this, all the welds are gonna be filled in. Sure getting gross outside. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it doesn't rain before I can get this finished up. Cut that top piece welded in. Once I'm ready, start doing some bondo work. I'll do a little bit more finishing on that to smooth it off. Let's start grinding this off. I gotta do a little bit more welding. Weld in those grooves I cut with the grinder. And then it'll be motherfucking beer time. Done right in time, perfect timing. Just starting to rain. You can see the raindrops. Well, there we go. Everything's put in. Still got a little bit more work to do for finishing, but the next part of the project is going to be focusing on getting this part in. And then we got to weld that side of the trunk in right there. And then the trunk will be pretty much finished. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do in there. If I'm going to body fill it or do like a lead filler, I'm not exactly sure yet. The rain's kinda coming and going, we're gonna try to get a time lapse of these clouds. There's even some lightning happening there, so hopefully I'll be able to capture something. Holy crap, is it getting freaking ugly outside? Anyways, let's try this Pine Drops IPA that I believe Fedor picked up this for me when he was in the States. Ooh. Yeah, this is a strong one for sure. Can you guys hear that? That rain is just coming down. I'm glad I got that done, but Today for me, not by the time you watch this, it has been one year since I've been off of work. Um, I had a deadline in mind when I was hoping to find a job. That deadline has, well, will be passed by Monday. And so far, not looking good. Uh, one company is going to get back to me after the weekend. So maybe, maybe not. Hopefully by the time you watch this, I will be working. But it is what it is. When a job comes up for the trade I got, there's probably about 200 other mill rates that apply for the same job, so competition is fierce. It's not like the way it was used to, but anyways, in the meantime, we're going to continue working on this car and keep building videos, but it's motherfucking beer time. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Well, I was planning on having a fire tonight, but that's not going to happen. Oh shit, here comes the hail. Because my wood isn't covered up. 